Hello everyone. Let's talk about Seminole pumpkins today. I have three Seminole pumpkins plant growing at my property. This here, the entire patch is just one single plant. And here is a plant number two. Here's where plant number two continues. And here's where it ends. And here in the corner we have our plant number three. The Seminole pumpkins are local to Florida. They are often referred to as hanging pumpkins. And we are in end of May here in Tampa Bay area, zone 9B. And as you can see, some of them are already ready for harvest. As you can see, I grow some of them on the ground and some are hanging. And that is because I'm trying different methods and see what works best. Now these pumpkins will ripen throughout the summer and into the fall depending on when you plant them. I personally prefer planting them in the winter. Uh, this crop was planted in the beginning of February and as you can see I already have some that are ready for harvest. They are a great cover crop that helps your fruit trees to retain moisture and they look beautiful. Another good way of growing them is just letting them climb things. You can let them climb your trees, your fences, or trellises. Did you know that Seminole pumpkin flowers are edible? You can eat them fresh or add them to the salads or dishes. Just look up the recipes. When it comes to pollination, you can rely on the bees or help it a little. Here is how the male flower look like. I use the painter's brush to carefully get the pollen out of it. Sorry, Mr. B. And once I have it on the brush, I take it to a female flower. And here is our female flower. Notice how it already has a tiny little pumpkin at the base. All right, let's take our painter's brush and pollinate it. And this is a great way to increase your yields and especially in the areas that don't have much bee activity. So just gently take it inside the flower and let it set the fruit for you. Notice how one of my pumpkin plants just never developed and I still don't know why all of my plants were given same care they have relatively same sun exposure and they have been planted at the same time so what i can suggest is try different spots some will grow better than others depending on various factors try trellises try attaching to the fence line try different spots to learn where they grow best in your environment and just repeat the process next year selecting those good spots that you have discovered well that's all for today i gotta go back to work there's a lot of work these days in the gardens and i just want to encourage you try pumpkins if you're in florida they're a great crop they will surprise you they're supposed to taste very good and have some tropical taste to them also Please share, subscribe, and until next time, let's keep growing.